Throughout time, roller coasters have come and gone. Only some become legends for their intensity and thrills. Each and every year, coaster fans like you venture to the parks, searching for that one special ride that stands out above the rest. You submitted your rankings, and now it's time to reveal the group of elite roller coasters that you have voted as the best of the best. CoasterNet Uncut is proud to present the 2021 Thrilling 32 Coaster Rumble! Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the finals of the Thrilling 32 Coaster Rumble. That's right Andy, it's finally time to find out who our winners are this year. This year's Thrilling 32, hundreds of voters like they do every single year voting in the 2020 Ride Warrior Choice Awards this past winter. And we finally come to the moment where we find out what the number one wood and the number one steel roller coasters are. We've narrowed the fields of 32 each down to two. And tonight we find out our champions and, and we find out the full top 50 coaster rankings from the Ride Warrior Choice Awards. And of course we find out who the winner of the bracket challenge is. Um, so, you know, last, last week, last week we kind of had four matchups to go over and, Andy, I, I think you would say that three of the four came out how you probably would have expected them to. I mean, we had Voyage beating Gold Striker. We had Lightning Rod beating Outlaw Run, which I mean was, was a tough matchup. But based on the history, that's the way you would have expected that to go. We saw Steel Vengeance beating X2. But then we were surprised in our last matchup of the night where Expedition G-Force knocked off Fury 325. So you know, Expedition G-Force now going up against Steel Vengeance in the finals. So, I mean, what, what are, we've had a week to digest this, right? I mean, we've had a lot of people surprised with that Expedition G-Force win here, Andy. So now that you've had a week to digest and here we are on the, on the cusp of finding out who our winners are this year, what are your thoughts uh, going into this evening? Well, you, you know, the, the thing is, 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 you know, we, we've been down this long road, this new format, I think um, I think has vexed a lot of different people here, uh, and 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 they they kind of maybe have gotten a little bit more confused. We saw some real big upsets, some big surprises, like you said last week. The biggest surprise, Sky Rush, the ultimate. I mean, come on, we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of surprises. We've seen a lot of shakeup here, and we were kind of wondering at the beginning of this process how much shakeup we would see with the pandemic, uh, with people maybe not traveling as much. Uh, but we've seen a lot of big shakeup here. So, uh, so, so maybe more so than, than other years as well. And, and we kind of, we, we've talked about why things have happened the way, or why we think things have happened the way that they happened here, um, you know, because of certain trips and certain things opening and people re-experiencing things like Skyrush um, and Expedition G-Force, another champion, um, always in the discussion and yeah. Expedition G-Force is one of those rides that, um, that, that you always have to wonder about because a few people vote the one way, a few people vote the other way, and Expedition, Expedition G-Force is always in that discussion, automatically jumps in there. So, yeah. um, you know, it's just one of those rides that, that you can never really predict how it's going to go. And, and we, went through the, we went through the history last week with Fury and Expedition G-Force and how close those matchups were, even though Furies come out on top more often than not, here we have Expedition G-Force, uh, you know, in, in this championship game here. Well, yeah. And I mean, the fact of the matter is, you know, Expedition G-Force surprised everyone in 2016. I mean, 2015, Fury won and everybody just kind of assumed, okay, it's Fury from here on out until somebody builds something better. And then G-Force swooped in and won in 2016. And then Fury took it back in 2017. And then lo and behold, somebody built something better <laughs> in Steel Vengeance. And, uh, you know, here we are again. Uh, so, you know, Steel Vengeance, an opportunity to win its third straight championship, go three for three, uh, continue its perfect run in the Thrilling 32. Um, but, you know, it's it's certainly not it's certainly not going to be easy, um, you know, and, and Andy, I, I mean, we're not going to get to who wins just yet. But I'll tell you, this year's steel percentages closer 
than last year's steal percentages really? between number one and number two. Now we don't know if number one and number two are on this board. We may have number one and number four or number one and number three or number one and number seven, probably not. Uh, but um, you know, the, the new format this year with the Costa rumble, um, there's nothing saying that the number one and number two coasters are on either of these boards here. Well, that, that's absolutely true. And that's where, that's where revealing the top 50 is probably going to be a better discussion than what we're having right now. Uh, yeah. So I, I, so at this point, let's reveal the winner so we can get on to the more fun discussions here of the wood, which will determine other winners uh, for the contest. Uh, and then to the top 50, which is really why most of us are here this so, week. So we sort of let the cat out of the bag last week that nobody had picked Expedition G-Force as their steel champion. I, I'm, I'm going to check one more time to make sure that that's correct. And yes, it is correct. We had a couple people select Untamed, and we had a few other ones in there. We, we had a Maverick. Uh, we had a Sky Rush. But, um, you know, whoever had the balls to pick Sky Rush as the champion, good on you there, because you probably got some points elsewhere that nobody else did. Uh, but nobody had Expedition G-Force as their steel champion. So we're going to do the steel champion first, because we know it's not really going to have that. It's not going to have nearly as much of an effect as the wood champion, because we've got lots of people who selected both Voyage and Lightning Rod. Uh, so ultimately, that's going to be the one that, that probably determines our championship. So again, like we've been talking about here in the opening, we've got Steel Vengeance, the defending champion, number one last year, going up against Expedition G-Force, who was number four last year. Uh, the separation, about 1.25 uh, percentage points, so a, a fairly significant gap. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, is there really any question here? No. Okay, no. so if there's no question, if there's no question here, what if I told you, what if I told you that these two coasters are the number one and number two coasters in this year's ranking? Because they are. Well, he, well, <laughs> that's interesting. That, that's interesting in the terms of where Untamed is, because we know Expedition G Force is higher than Fury. We know that because we it's head to head matchup. We saw Expedition G-Force move on. So we know that's higher. So yeah. if you're saying they're one and two, then I, I'm just saying I, I'm actually more surprised that the percentages are closer. Than so last year, two. last year, Steel Vengeance, 99.73, Untamed, 99.62. So a difference of 0. 0.11. Okay. This year, the number one coaster, 99.37. And the number two coaster, 99.29, so 0 0.08, so even closer than last year's finish. And regardless of which one Vengeance is, it's lower than its percentage the first two years that it's won. Well, one, I don't think Vengeance lost. But two, <laughs> I, I want to quote uh, uh, Pip Up James from YouTube, a YouTube commenter. Who's, I don't think I've seen this one. Who, who, who wrote in all caps, who are the voters? <laughs> and that, and I'm going to go like that right now because I'm thinking the same thing right now as we sit there. Who are the voters? Because what is going on here? I, I well, don't know anymore. And this, this is... This is becoming a fun trend where all of a sudden we've got very close results every oh. single year. You know, it seems like almost every year we're saying it's it's one of the closest finishes in history. It's not going to be true anymore <laughs> if it keeps happening. Um, Vengeance won. Come on, let's let's move. So on. Andy, our steel champion, by a very slim margin of 0 0.08 percentage points this year, is Steel Vengeance oh, from good. Cedar Point. So good. Steel Vengeance remains perfect in the history of the thrilling 32 it is our steel champion number one expedition g-force with its highest percentage ever in its lifetime in the thrilling 32 coming in at a solid number two the highest it's been since that 2017 year where it was just behind fury 325 so uh what are your thoughts now on expedition g-force jumping both untamed and fury from number four to number two, and quite frankly, giving Steel Vengeance everything it had. Well, it's interesting because we we, we said, we know there's a drop off with new coasters. We, we know that. So the question is now, how far did Untamed drop? Um, like how, how far did it drop? Because there's really, you know, the, the next one out was who was Iron Rattler and Iron Rattler 
is usually in the lower half of, of the top 10. Yeah, Iron Adler has been right around that 10 to 12 mark. So, I mean, where are we looking at untamed? So, so how far did untamed drop? We'll have to wait till the top 50 is revealed, but I think that's the big question mark of how far did that ride drop uh, from its first year? And, you know, people, people riding in Europe and we had a number of European voters, they have always loved Expedition G-Force always. And yeah. maybe some of them wrote Untamed and said, hey, maybe this isn't it. Did, did our friend Alex Baker write Untamed this year? He did, right? I don't know if he wrote it this year, but he's written it. Yeah, so I, I don't remember. And he, I, he, puts, he puts G-Force ever so slightly ahead. So, so, so I, I put Untamed ever so slightly ahead. Connoisseurs of roller coasters might still prefer the Expedition G-Force over... Yeah. And, and you know what there's plenty there's plenty of people on both sides there so you know i, I think yeah. it makes sense that uh with with uh with the shifting voting pool we we see some things change or as, so I, Steel- call it, as I call it in the unreleased uh video we did uh for the thrilling 32 I, some of you guys might have seen some of those voting videos that we did at the beginning i did a i did a french one uh in it and, and i and i never released it only to the patron people uh, that we'll talk about a little later today uh only to the patrons <laughs> that i released the un uh, the, the, the unheard uh, European voting video done. So that, that was quite the show. And I called it in there, untomed. Untomed. <laughs> untomed. <laughs> so you know, French accent. So. Oh, boy, that's funny. And then, then that's right, not even in France. Most of the Dutch speak English over, over there. So fair enough. Um, it's Europe. Nobody cares. So well, on. yeah, I know. Uh, that's that's, that's uh, pretty we, we beat all of them multiple times, so it doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, there so. you go. I mean, uh, uh, it's, <laughs> I remember the joke I made when we went on our England trip in 2017 when somebody told me that a keychain was like like seven pounds or whatever it was. I had the un- irresistible urge to say, and what is that in victory dollars? <laughs> How much can I get that in T taxes? <laughs> <laughs> What's the T tax on that? What's the T oh. tax on that? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right, Andy, we've got a wood champion to crown. And I think this is the one that everyone's kind of waiting for because last year, the, again, it's, it's like I don't a know broken if people record. are waiting for it. But... Well, d- d- I sound like a broken record here. The closest finish in thrilling 32 history last year, the voyage 97.18. Lightning Rod 97.14, 0.04 percentage points. Um, a, a very, very is it close. closer this year? Uh, it is not. It is oh. actually a significantly wider margin. Oh. So the champion, 97.33. So the champion actually, actually with a better score than last year. And um, the, the number two coaster, again, not, not saying these are the top two coasters here, but the number two coaster was 96.45. So not quite a full point behind, but that's a significant margin, um, al- almost almost nine tenths of a point. Well, Danny Miller, I think you gave it away there. I, I think you gave it away. I because <laughs> I, I, I I feel that you know, unlike other polls out there, uh, our voters still have uh, common sense and still believe in the voyage. And, well, well, I don't know about that because they put Skyrush ahead of Maverick. <laughs> you yourself you yourself said that a couple weeks ago and yes I, I i agree with that statement still but i i can see the argument however i can't see the argument of putting things like boulder dash over voyage i'm sorry i just i just can't see that argument um anywho uh so here we have Two rides, Lightning Rod, Voyage. The Voyage is the clear, better ride. I think both of us, we like you said before, we don't agree on much. There's not a whole lot of stuff we agree no, on. No, I mean, the reason that this show has gone on for so long is because we can find anything to argue about. And one of the okay. few things that we cannot argue about is that Voyage we, we, we is We could start an argument over what color that frame is back there. We could say, is that pink? Is it coral? We could start an argument and argue about that for 35 minutes. Uh, but, it's, it's cool coral. <laughs> but we will agree. <laughs> that the voyage is by far the greatest wood coaster on the planet. Absolutely. So that's, that's... I think our, vo- I think our voters have uh, come around to that. And I think the lightning rod mystique um, is fine. This may be the last hurrah for it lightning rod, the, quite frankly. It may be the last hurrah. And it seems like it's fading off into the sunset. It's on its nice little horse. 
heading on out of town into the sunset, like a good John Wayne movie. And there goes lightning rod. So say la vie, as they say, across the pond. Uh, Voyage, I say, as the winner. Well, you know, you and I agree that uh, Voyage is, is definitively the number one wood coaster on the planet and has been for many, many years. And the voters agree once Great. again, the Voyage is the wood champion once again. So we've got a three-peat for, vo- for the Voyage Steel Vengeance combo now. Voyage has won the last four years now. Uh, so Voyage number one. And I will say at this time that Lightning Rod was once again, number two. So right. we did indeed have number one and number two, once again, uh, going up against each other in the finals. And albeit a little bit of a uh, untraditional uh, uh, way, I think. I, I don't think a lot of people, you know, we talked about whether or not the number two coasters were on the board. Uh, and, and we thought in the wood bracket they probably were. And we kind of thought in the steel bracket they probably weren't. But the, but sure enough, they Here were. And, and the gap from number two to number three, from Lightning Rod down to the number three coaster, uh, which we will find out in a few moments, is once again Outlaw Run. Still a significant gap between Lightning Rod and Outlaw Run. So Voyage and Lightning Rod still definitively uh, the top two there. Can't be said on the steel side, obviously, because we've seen a little bit of a shuffle uh, the last many years, uh, the shuffling of... Uh, the top four there between Vengeance, Fury, Untamed, and G-Force. We've seen those four shuffle around a little bit, uh, much like we saw Voyage, Outlaw Run, El Toro, and uh, Lightning Rod shuffle around in the first I'd even take the belt down today. You didn't even have to get the belt down. Yeah, I I didn't have to take the belt down. I didn't need new plates, apparently. So we got well no. down. (laughs) <laughs> yeah so keen voters would have realized that this had been. <laughs> so so, so there we the, have it there's the belt the belt stays put for another year Andy. For, for the third straight year we got the same two rides on there we got uh steel vengeance right there we've got the voyage uh the and and they will be maintaining their spot on the thrilling 32 i like to also thank all the voters out there uh, for saving me about 40 bucks of having to buy new side plates. Yeah, that's so, right. No more. Time. Thank you. One no new side plates again. Correctly. Um, you know, well, and congratulations to the folks at holiday world and at Cedar point. Once again, um, you know, I, a couple years ago, we, we presented a nice thrilling 32 type ticket uh, t- to the cooks. Yeah. Uh, do you, do you happen to have those as well, Andy? I, I, I don't, but, but, but I do have, I, I do have now, now this, this, this is something. Uh, this, I believe, is is available for purchase as well. Uh, you can get that that wonderful. Oh, look at that! That's uh, fantastic. Sitting there on uh, on the voyage, uh, you know, right next to the lift hill there. So we took the belt there uh, to Holiday World. We presented them with tickets. Um, I have the. I don't know if I have the 2019 tickets. No, the tickets like that. So we present these to the parks every year. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we usually give them that. Um, now, now, I have a question for you. Before we reveal the winner of the contest, because that, that was still up up in the air uh, be, because of uh, how many people had lightning rod, do you happen to have the two logo magnets of, the, of our two champions that you could show the folks? Because one because one of the options that our winner is going to get, they're going to be able to select, uh, they're, they're going to get a Thrilling 32 uh, champion magnet um, on the 3D printer. Actually, I'm printing the, the blue right now. But they're also going to get their choice. What's that? You are killing me today with having to stand up from my chair. <laughs> but they're also going to get their choice of a ride logo magnet. And we actually have the two champions uh, available. So there you go. There, Look at that. Our, our patrons Wait. just recently uh, uh, got uh, got the Voyage and Steel Vengeance once in honor of the Thrilling 32. So, mm-hmm. yeah, look at that. And it's a little hard to see there. Um, but the, the, the vengeance letters are done in, uh, it's, uh, the, the material color is called copper and it's a little bit of a shimmery brown and it actually has the little wood cracks in there. And it's a little, it's also a little hard to see, but the silver also has the little rivets on the letters yeah. and the border. So, um, it's, it's very, the very size neat. reference. I have the, I, you know, the iPhone, this is the XS. So if you want to see for size reference, you can see how big those yeah, are. Yeah, we, we try and make them all about whatever the bigger dimension is, which in this case is the width, is about three by five index card size. So they're they're about the size of an index card. Um, so um, our champion will, will get a Thrilling 32 champion magnet and then also uh, their choice of a ride logo magnet. Uh, so steel this, this is a short plug since we're talking about it. As a short plug before we reveal the, ride, the, uh, the champion, of the Coaster Rumble uh, Challenge. 
uh, and also the top 50 list. Uh, we do, these are available to people uh, at the Patreon level of the $25 level. Uh, that is our highest tier. I believe there is only one or two slots open right now for that. Um, right. Because of the capacity of the printer and, and especially with me going back to the office here soon, I'm, I'm limited with what I can do, but um, you know, we have uh we've we've got at least one slot available the $25 a month one you can get one magnet per month and if you do the $15 a month uh, level you'll get one every three months you, yeah. you've probably seen some of the, some of the ones that are back here uh, Alex Baker I just sent him one of these a fancy Galactica one uh, which is pretty cool if you're over in Europe there and, and to be honest with you like I, I I've been like everyone that has gotten these has absolutely loved them you might have seen uh, us retweet uh, Marcus Lashak uh, over Christmas. I sent him uh, the good old Shockwave one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because he has a lot of uh, sentimental attachment to Shockwave. Uh, and he absolutely loved the Shockwave magnet. Uh, yeah. All the, all the pa patrons, um, you know, every single thing that they've gotten, I, there has been no complaints whatsoever. Uh, so definitely, if you're interested in that, uh, they we do have those items available at the $25 and $15 level. But even at the $10 level and the $5 level, you get access to a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, we have a Ride Warrior Discord. Uh, that's a great community of people that you get to uh, participate in. And at the patron uh, level, you get a special room uh, that's outside the general public areas. Uh, but also you get access to our exclusive shows uh, that we do right. uh, ask Danny and Andy anything shows uh, very often. <laughs> those get fun. We just did a couple of those. Oh, those get real fun real quick. Um, we also do a, a Marvel MCU analysis. We just got done with phase one um, yep. where we uh, reviewed all the different Marvel movies. And then and, and I have to watch WandaVision still. Um, I got to catch up there. That's that's on my to do list here this week or this weekend. And then uh, very soon here, we are going to be starting a Mandalorian review show. So if. So stuff that's outside of roller coasters uh, that we don't put up on YouTube, that we only put up on Patreon, um, that, that is at the $5 level and the $10 level. Uh, and then, of course, we do meetups every year as well. We didn't get to do one last year because of the pandemic, and we are currently in the planning stages of this year's meetup. Um, we think, we think it's going to happen over the summer. We think it's going to, yeah, we, we, we've, we've, we've been talking about it. I mean, we've been talking about whether or not we, we were originally going to do Hershey park last year. We've discussed whether or not we're going to go back to uh, Hershey park. Look at it. Look at that. That is, that is just a beautiful magnet. And, uh, you know, uh, Andy, you know, hopefully we might have a chance to meet our winner of the contest at a meetup because who's our winner, Andy, our winner for, for the rumble. For the, yeah, who's our Rumble winner? I don't know. You know. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who won? It's Mr. Raymond Mann. That's right. Thomas Raymond Mann. Man T. Ray is our champion of the Thrilling 32 Rumble. Manta, number one. That's right. No more Arthur Poor. Man T. Ray is the Thrilling 32 Rumble inaugural champion. <laughs> I still have this. I know. I, I still have this. <laughs> so that's un unbelievable. Unbelievable. This guy is so uncreative. He steals my gimmicks all the time. He's a gimmick. Steal. I can't. I can't do it better than you. So I. I put in work the last three years putting Raymond's man, Raymond Man's name into the thrilling 32 standings. I had him lose last year just so that you wouldn't get wise. And Manta is the inaugural rumble champion. I can't, I, I, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. Like, like oh, why? To, it's so it's just, the only thing that comes to mind is. Why do people watch this? Is, is, is once Hulk Hogan turned <laughs> on WCW and joined the NWO. Tony Schiavone said, closing the show. He said this, and I'm gonna use your name instead. Danny Miller, you can go to hell. Straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, man T. Ray, that, that's right. Oh hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh. 
Well, that's right. We're we're even going to celebrate with the Manta plushie. This is a plushie that I know you don't have. I've got, I've got the I've got the Manta Stingray plushie here at, at, as 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 Raymond Man's champion right here. This this, guy is, this is Raymond Man right here. <laughs> It's even, it's even got the logo on the fin. How great is that? And yes, we do have a Manta ride logo magnet. Um, it's I thought downstairs. I had it right here, too. Apparently, I don't. <laughs> there there are right. no words. <laughs> um, so for, for those of you who have no idea what's going on, I suggest you go back to the championship show a few years ago. Um, I, do, I don't the know. The greatest moment in was. uncut history. The greatest. It, it really was. It really was. And I know I'd never be able to top it. Um, but you spent three years. I got to go back on these lists now and see them. I want to see it, them. Well, it, I don't think I don't, I, I don't think I put him in two years ago, but last year I definitely had Raymond Mann in there. And I think they had him in the top 10. So that uh, the name was at least familiar there, but uh, Raymond Ray Man, the champion. That's right. Um, so, so Andy, um, the, so who's the real winner? So the real winner. Now I have I, no idea. <laughs> the real winner, believe it or not, is Alex Baker, our friend what? from the UK. So for the second year in a row, this, someone from this guy, I, because we were just talking about who he is. And and I said he's like oh yeah he's his home park is from King's Dominion. <laughs> you hey, I, and I said him. remember I said I can't remember if he's closer to King's Dominion or Bush Garden. So you know Bush Garden Sea World Park. It's like I don't know what ride he likes. Maybe something from Bush Gardens. You know because 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 I'm a Bush Gardens guy. So. Um, it, <laughs> And I think it's I think it's funny because in all these uh, Discord chats we've been ha having, Alex is like, yeah, I, I'm going to do a very poor British accent here for me. He's like, yeah, I, I hopefully hopefully Raymond didn't pick Expedition G Force to win because <laughs> he was because Alex picked G Force to beat Fury last week, and then much to his dismay, this weekend I was talking with some of the Discord folks, uh, some of the patrons on Saturday night in the Discord voice chat. And he was really upset that he correctly predicted G-Force and, and that Raymond Mann also had G-Force. So, so Andy, even when, even when uh, Raymond Mann isn't actually the winner, someone from Europe wins. So I can take solace in that. <laughs> the, 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 we've had European folks win the contest the last two years. How great is that? And the year before, my brother won. <laughs> so, I'm dumbfounded still. I people are going to start to think that it's rigged. Um, so anyways. Oh, uh, already think that. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I mean, if, if, if this right, if this right here doesn't tell you it's rigged, I don't know what will. <laughs> Oh, there you go. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> we've so we've got Alex Baker. He he's number two on the sheet here underneath Raymond Man. But but Alex Baker is our winner. Uh, Tristan and Zachary tied for second at one thirty uh, in the points total. Uh, then Rob Dole at one hundred and twenty nine. Look at that, Rob Dole right there towards the top again. Um, and I think he had Maverick ranked incorrectly this year. So once again, perhaps Rob Dole missing out on a championship due to not ranking Maverick properly. Uh, but I, I can't give him too much this time around. I mean, nobody had Skyrush coming in at number no. two in that group there. So I, 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 I'm afraid I can't give Rob too much flack for that. Uh, Mike Flynn coming in uh, on, right there at 128. Uh, then my mom at 126, Sam Weaver, 125. Uh, Nathan 123, Nick Feller 122, and then a, a bunch of people tied for the 10th spot with 121 points. Uh, Brad Crow, Isaac Larson, Kyle Posey, Rob Polk, and uh, Coaster Crazy Ants too. So uh, quite a number of uh, familiar names uh, seeming to do quite a bit better this year. And last year's champion, uh, Mark Kevin Amlor from uh, Germany with 120 points, a very respectable 120 points this year. Well, that that's that that's something there. That that is, I I'm still I'm still dumbfounded. I, I can't. Yeah, well, and and I'll and I have to say it's it's convenient for for me because uh, Alex is already a fifteen dollar a month uh, level patron, so I already send him magnets <laughs> every couple of months. So uh, Alex, uh, we'll talk, and I'll put an extra magnet in your box next time I send a uh, a box of magnets over to Jolly Old England there, um, and we'll put in your uh, thrilling thirty two. Uh, championship magnet as well. Um, uh, ironically enough, I'm actually printing uh, some of the generic Thrilling 32 ones, just the logo that don't actually uh, say the champion that you showed 
um, in, in the selection show, but I've already got the, the yellow pieces. So I've already printed the yellow pieces for a bunch of them. Um, I'm printing, printing the blue letters and numbers for some of them uh, as well uh, right now. So, um, you know, I think the, I think the, uh, the goal is to eventually put those up for purchase. So uh, let, let me get ahead of the game a little bit since uh, my, uh, my print time is limited now on during the weekdays going back into the office. So let me get, let me get some of them put together and then maybe, uh, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks we'll have some of those available for purchase. Um, you know, they certainly won't be going out the door next day or anything, but uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we get them out to you. Um, so Andy, we've got the champions. We found out our champion. We found out our real champion. And now it's time to find out the rankings. So do you want to do wood or steel first? Uh, let's do wood since my brackets are already up on that. So, all right. So let's start off with the wood. We'll go from number 50 all the way up to number one. Uh, and we'll do this in groups of 10. So you'll see, uh, the, the bottom 10 first. So at number 50, we have wooden warrior from Quasi. at number 49. We've got Kentucky rumbler from beach Bend. number 48 thunderbolt from Kennywood number 47 apocalypse from six flags, magic mountain number 46 Oscars wacky taxi from Sesame place. 45 is Zip and Pippin from Bay Beach. 44 is Timber Terror from Silverwood. 43 is The Comet from The Great Escape. 42, Twister from Knobles. And 41 is Cornball Express from Indiana Beach. Uh, any surprises to you there? I, I don't think there's there. any for me. Thunder, Thunderbolt, I don't think we've ever seen on the, on the Thunder, top. Thunderbolt's been bopping around towards the bottom of that list, sort of in yeah. and out, in and out. I, I think years ago it was in the Thrilling 32 okay. and we had a lot I less wood the posters. very beginning, because... I, yeah, I, it's, cer it's certainly not recently, I don't think, has been one that we've mentioned. Um, getting to number 40, the Coney Island Cyclone dropping down to number 40 this year. That's a little bit of a drop. That was yeah. one that had been in previously. 39 is Lightning Racer from Hershey Park. 38 is Switchback from CDTs. 37 is Grand National from Blackpool Pleasure Beach. 36, White Lightning from Fun Spot, Orlando, Orlando excuse me. 35, Roarosaurus from Storyland in New Hampshire. 34, American Thunder from Six Lakes St. Louis. Andy, the first ride out, number 33, Ooh. Texas Stingray from Six Lakes San Antonio. So we talked about Texas Stingray not being in. It was the very first ride out. And, and, and that's 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 a ride to watch because, yes, I, I because not a whole lot of people, I feel, got on that one in this voting pool. And the minute that more people start writing that, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I think that is one to watch in the upcoming years. And that was one very similar to how we talked about Kumba. Kumba was in until that last day of voting. Texas Stingray was in the Thrilling 32 up until the last few ballots. Mm, interesting. All right. At 32, we see Q Cullen from Tato Park in Ireland. 31 is where the Beast is from Kings Island once again. Uh, just narrowly getting it's its way in. on. <clears throat> number 30 is Raven from Holiday World. Number 29, Legend from Holiday World. Number 28, Mind Blower from Fun Spot Kissimmee. 27, Tremors from Silverwood. 26, Hades 360 from Mount Olympus. 25, Shivering Timbers from Michigan's Adventure. A little bit of a drop for Shivering Timbers there. Number 24, Prowler from Worlds of Fun. Number 23, Thunderhead from Dollywood. Number 22, Boardwalk Bullet from Kima Boardwalk. And number 21, Balder from Lisa Bird in Sweden. Oh. So Prowler looks like it's moved up a little bit. Balder looks like it's moved down a little bit. Shivering Timbers looks like it moved down a little bit as well. Um, a little bit of shuffling here in the middle of the pack. Interesting because because you because there wasn't a whole lot of new wood coasters. So this is this is just voting trends and voting taste changing. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. Um, at number 20 is Joris and the Drock from Efteling. Number 19 is where we see the Rush de Bonin from Tivoli Gardens. An interesting debut spot there. We'll have to see if that holds uh, in future years. Number 18, Colossus from Haida Park. Number 17, Renegade from Valley Fair. Number 16, Ravine Flyer 2 from Waldemir. Number 15, Wodan Timber Coaster from Europa Park. Number 14, Goliath from Six Flags Great America. Number 13, Rampage from Alabama Splash Adventure. Number 12, Troy from Toverland. And number 11, Mystic Timbers from Kings Island. So as we discussed in those in that opening week there, that that GCI group, Mystic Timbers, Troy, Wodan, Renegade, they were Joris and the Drock even, not far behind the pace there. That was a very, very closely packed group there. And those people picking uh, Mystic Timbers over uh, Gold, Gold Striker, uh, you know, that, that that's, that's we're going to see on the next page where Gold Striker came in, but just note where Mystic Timbers is, number 11 versus Gold Striker. So 
Yeah. So only missed out on two spots. Mystic Timbers hit at number 11 because at number 10 is Ghost Rider and then at number nine is Gold Striker. So Ghost Rider, a significant jump this year up into the top 10. It's, it's still kind of too been low. The, still too still, low. Still too low. I'll, I'll agree. Still too low, but it's getting much closer to where it ought to be. Ghost Rider is so Ghost Rider in the top 10 for the first time in a Ghost very, Rider. very Ghost long. Ghost Rider is like one of those wood coasters that it's not a number one, but it should it should be being discussed in that group. It's just the top. In the top. It should part. be. It should be for sure. So Gold Striker there at number nine. Yeah, Wild I would like to note from there. Hold on, I would like to note there that Gold Striker. Um, so those Mystic Timber people, Timbers people, not that far off. Mystic Timbers. It, I, I still think Mystic Timbers is a little underranked in this. I think Mystic Timbers should be a little bit higher as well. I think it is too. I mean, last year, Mystic Timbers, I think, was 11 or 12, and it's right around there again. Gold Striker was 8 last year. It's number 9 this year. Troy was number 10 last year, and it dropped to number 12. But again, that's enough to shift the order um, yeah. because of how close all these rides were. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, so, so yeah, no, no, you're good. Uh, Ghost Rider at 10, Gold Striker at 9. Wildfire from Kulmarden at number 8, so a little bit of a slip there for Wildfire. Boulder Dash coming in at number 7. Uh, Phoenix from Knobles uh, up to number 6 now, so Phoenix seeing a little bit of a rise here. Uh, at number 5 is where we see El Toro from Six Flags Great Adventure. Finally, at number 4 is where the coaster from p &E Playland comes in. And let me just say once and for all, Andy, number 4 for that ride is too hot. I, I will say it. It's number 4 is too hot. It's a great ride. Number 4 is too hot. Is it better than Phoenix in your opinion? No. 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 I could, I could settle with it being in the top 10. It's in my top like 18 or so. Um, I, I mean, it's 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 not a fully complete ride like Phoenix is. The, the, the first part of the ride is a little bit just just okay. Uh, it's really the second half where it takes off. But in my opinion, I could, I could, I could see it being a top 10 ride, but, but top five, top four, I, I think is a little too much in my opinion. Um, number three, Outlaw Run from Silver Dollar City. Number two, Lightning Rod from Dollywood. And number one, of course, is the voyage from Holiday World for the fourth consecutive year. Voyage, the number one wood coaster in the Ride Warrior Choice Awards and this year's Thrilling 32 Coaster Rumble. So Andy, um, we've got the full rankings now. Uh, any big surprises to you? I mean, the Rushley Bonnet obviously is kind of that oddball and we'll see if that holds. But generally speaking, I don't I don't see a ton here that's that's jumping off of the page at me. I mean, we see a little bit of shuffle, but I don't see any yeah, be, don't see any significant moves. Yeah, besides your your usual jockeying that we see every year of co of some moving slight up, some moving slight oh. back. It's it, it's a jockey every single year. So um, you, you know, it's it, it's looking at those top five. Um, you know, like you said, the coaster at PE does strike me as being a little high. I've never been on it, but um, but a ride like that seems to me in the same vein as like a Phoenix. And, and if you're saying Phoenix is better, really, those two should probably flip. And I've always thought Phoenix has been underranked in our poll. I've always thought Phoenix should be a top four ride. If you start looking at the, the yeah. ride here, I, I think Phoenix should be at least four, maybe five. But it's, I'm glad to see that it's moving closer to that. Yeah. Um, and and I, I, I'm not an El Toro hater like you are. Um, so I, I, I don't, I don't find great offense to El Toro being number five. <laughs> now, I also don't think it's better than Lightning Rod or Outlaw either. So, um, you know, in, in that top five, I would definitely put El Toro as number four. Um, and, and Wildfire is one of those, one of those, you know, rides where you, it depends on the voters. It depends on who votes. Yeah, um, that's a weird one. I mean, for all intents and purposes, Wildfire really isn't moving. And, and, and until you jabronis do a Scandinavian trip, I, I don't think we're going to get a real good at a good uh, assessment. Oh, if we can get rid of the damn virus, I'd be happy to go to Sweden. <laughs> no, true. Um, you know, uh, that's and supposedly, you know, there's a few good parks there that you get to go to. So, uh, yeah, yeah, but but like you said, um, we'll get to ride Lisa Bird Bonnet. Oh, good Lord. I can't. Even and Helix. Today. I can't even today. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's, it's been a rough night already with, with, with the, with the shenanigans that we've got going on, 
Um, so it's so <laughs> ghost, ghost Rider, um, Ghost Rider, way too low, I still think. So I, you know, I, and Danny, I begin to sound like you. I'm putting 16 coasters in the top five here. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, that all of a sudden, there's a lot of rides here that are way too low, Andy. What's going on here? Well, we, we got we got some junk here, like Boulder Dash. Ghost Rider was number seventeen last year, and it's it's made a major jump. And you and I have been waiting for that, and we've been saying every year, go watch for Ghost Rider. And it was it, it's come up and up and up a little bit, and this year it's got that big jump from seventeen up to number ten, which is ironic because Knott's Berry Farm didn't open it pretty open much all up. year. So, it, but but people here we are. are finally taking our advice and saying, hey, wait a minute. Ghost Riders, because Something's you know, not right. Rob Dole made a very good point today. Rob Dole is like, you know, so many people sit there and wait for someone else to say, yes, that's acceptable way to think, you know, uh, that they're too afraid sometimes to go out and make their own opinion heard. And, and Ghost Rider is an excellent ride. I have it as my number two wood coaster. Uh, it is that good, I think. It, it's got some amazing airtime. It's got some amazing visuals. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's just a, a great ride roller coaster, and and I, I think it deserves to be higher. And I think mm. people are coming around to my side as they always do. So there you go. Oh, just about. So the apology line can start here, of course. It always it does. <laughs> it always starts here. Uh, so let's move on to the steel coasters here to wrap up this year's <sighs> ranking. Yeah, and and you know, Andy, we're going to see some different names that uh, you know, some that we have seen in the past, but some that we haven't necessarily seen. Uh, in the past, then we're going to see some rides that had dropped out of the top 50 coming back into the top 50. Uh, so let's start at number 50. We've got Swarm from Thorpe Park in the UK. We've got Tatsu from Six Flags Magic Mountain coming back in. We've got Diamondback from Kings Island coming back in again. And this this is maybe the Orion effect, you know, the whole candemonium effect where we're seeing rides at parks that open new rides this year, seeing a little bit of a jump. Well, and I, I have no issue with that. Diamondback is in my top 20. There is no reason Diamondback shouldn't be uh, in a top 50. So Diamondback, I, I think, is is by far, uh, well, it's the second best game in my uh, The first best is Goliath, which I hope to see. Oh, I thought you were going to say Apollo. No, well, no. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> well, that's right. Um, speaking of stupid, uh, <laughs> number 47 is, is Hagrid's motorbike. I guess I should say that. I haven't I, ridden I, it. I got to get I, on that ride, but <laughs> maybe yeah, we'll we, see another jump next year with Velocicoaster. <laughs> well, yeah, you never know. I mean, Hagrid's I, I, motorbike going to be the top 10 next year. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a little uncalled for. I've, I've heard some great things about that ride, especially if you're into the theming. So uh, we'll have to reserve a true judgment on Hagrid's motorbike coaster for now. Uh, Andy, number 46, Candemonium, a, uh, yeah. an underwhelming debut for Candemonium, yeah. uh, which is a surprise to me. I mean, I guess I wouldn't have been shocked to see that it was outside the 32, but 46 seems awfully low to me, and especially for how many, how many good things we heard so many people say about that ride. Oh, yeah. I, like, I, like, hopefully next, hopefully in the summer I'll be able to get my own opinion on it. Yeah. Uh, number 45, Thunderbird from Holiday World. Number 44 is Monster from Whoa. Adventureland. That's another one that's way too low uh, in, in both of our opinions. Number 43, Storm Runner from Hershey Park. Again, another ride we haven't talked about here in, in quite a few years. Uh, so Storm Runner outranking Candemonium. That's, but, but, that's then, but then again, Storm Runner, that's that, that's that Candemonium effect too. Where people... But again, here's another weird thing. Storm Runner did not operate this year. What the hell? It did it? No, they, they it didn't operate all year. They were waiting on a part from Europe, and then they never got it because of COVID, and they it was disassembled all year. So that's, no, that's a little strike, bit... I like that reason. Maybe, or maybe they just like... I, I can't explain that one. I can't explain that one. <laughs> maybe, maybe it had a pretty paint job or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people were just longing to ride it no, <laughs> a little bit. I wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> number 42, Blue Fire Mega Ghoster from Europa Park. Number 41, Top Thrill Dragster from Cedar Point. That's, that's a little bit of a jump there for Dragster. I haven't seen Dragster in the top 50, I don't think, for a while. Um, number Now we see some rides that's, that have sort of settled a little bit, I think. Some European rides in particular. Number 40 is Flug der Demonen from Haida Park. Number 39 is Storm Chaser from Kentucky Kingdom coming back in, and we're just going to move on from that. Number 38, Medusa Steel Coaster from Six Flags Mexico. Number 37 is where we see the Helix from Lisaburg kind of settle in. That's so an, an interesting... Now, it'll be interesting to see if that jumps back up next year, if this was just a one-year anomaly, or if this is kind of like the blue fire effect where it sort of settles and then it stays there. 
Although, you know, I've heard a lot of people not be enamored with Helix, that, that Helix is one of those rides where some people are like, oh my God, this is amazing. And some people are like, oh, that's kind of under, like it's, it's average or underwhelming. So uh, there is not a universal consensus amongst Helix. And I think this is showing that is not yeah. everyone loves Helix. Uh, it's just, and if you watch POVs, and like I said before, with critical thinkers, you can do that. Uh, I, I'm very undecided on if I like Helix or not. Like it's like looking at that POV, sometimes it's like, oh my God, this is gonna be amazing. And sometimes you look at it and be like, oh, it looks really slow. So I, I just don't know. Well, and only a Scandinavia trip is, is gonna settle that, I think. So uh, a lot, uh, another a lot ride will be to... settled upon that trip when it eventually happens. Well, it, 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 it just may be. Um, another ride to file away in the way too low category, uh, Kumba from Busch Gardens Tampa, again, was in the thrilling 32 up until the last day of voting. Uh, number 35, Joker from Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. Number 34, Railblazer from California's Great America. And the first ride out this year, number 33, New Texas Giant. Uh, How from Six the Flags fall of New Texas Giant as being a story? Fair? Like New yeah. Texas Giant in that hawker pole was a perennial favorite. Uh, top five. It was top. It was top five, top ten for a few years in our. Uh, you know, and and it's just it's just fallen and fallen, and that's and that's the RMC effect of there's just been better ones out there. People are like, yeah, this was fun at the beginning, but yeah. there's just better versions of this now. Yeah, New Texas Giant is now the BNM hypercoaster of all the RMCs. Yeah, you know, it's still a nice ride, but it's 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 not as forceful as some of the newer ones. And, and I, number 30. I've always railed on New Texas Giant, but my main cons my main issue with it was it being a top five, top ten ride. I said no. It's a really nice ride at thirty three. I think I think yeah, that that sounds about you know right to me. It's about appropriate. Yeah, it's not in my thirty third spot, but it's 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 not a terrible ride. Uh, number 32 is Cannibal from Lagoon. So uh, I heckled you about that a couple weeks ago, but it was indeed the very last ride into the thrilling 32. Number 31, Twisted Cyclone from Six Flags Over Georgia. Hopefully a ride that I will finally get to ride this year. Um, speaking of rides from Six Flags Over Georgia, number 30 is Goliath from Six Flags Whoa, Over Georgia. That's another one. One, one that you would file away in the way too low folder as well. Um, and number 29 is Behemoth from Canada's Wonderland. Number 28, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Booster from Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Uh, and it seems like we've got the entire the entire Terra group on this page just about. Seriously. From 20, 27, we've got Time Traveler from Silver Dollar City. Number 26, Montu from Busch Gardens, Tampa. Number 25, Black Mamba from Fantasia Land. Number 24, Silver Star from Europa Park. Number 23, The Ultimate. From Lightwater Valley. So once Which? again, uh, the ult the ultimate was number thirty two last year, a nine spot jump for the ultimate in a in a year where it did not operate. Well, in, in which we've we've heard uh, some very disturbing rumors about the ultimate as well as maybe never operating again. So that's yeah, that that, that would be a terrible shame. That would be oh, a pity. So, so there might be a few question marks because we've never dealt with the defunct ride issue in the top 50 uh, with our rankings. And I think we're gonna have to deal with that a lot more next year with Lightning Rod, with the Ultimate, um, you know, with, with a lot of these rides closing down. Uh, I think I think it's gonna, we're gonna have to have a real serious discussion on what happens there. Uh, yeah, and they're gonna have to start sooner rather than later. Um, at number 22 is where we see the debut of Orion from Kings Island. And Andy, I'll be honest with you, I thought Orion would have debuted higher, but I also thought that Candemonium would have. This is about where I would have thought that one of them would have been, and the better of the two rides would have been a little bit higher, you know, in the teens. Yeah. But uh, 22 for Orion, I think, uh, very, very low. And well, we I, haven't. I, I haven't ridden it, so I'm not saying that's low as in it should be higher, but I'm saying that's low for Orion. Just compared to expectations and how you know mystic yeah. timbers debuting in the top five or six banshee debuting in the top 10 in its opening year so to see a king's island ride debut this low with all the hype that it had around it and the stats that are behind it uh you know maybe maybe orion missing the mark i mean i i think but it's still, a lovely ride still the number one good. ride ranked at king's island for steel coasters right yeah, I mean that's that's very true. So you know, it's, you know, it that's, beat that's, Diamondback, and that was some people's you know opinion. Well, it's got to be better than Diamondbacks. 
so it is. Well, and and, and maybe it is. I mean, I, I I think I'd go either way. I ranked him pretty close. I think I slightly prefer Orion, uh, maybe because of some of the positive forces. But I, I mean, it kind of depends on what you're up for there. And I guess that's that's saying enough there. Uh, 21 is Superman, the ride from Six Flags. Oh, excuse me, Six Flags New England. Um, all right, so now let's get into the top 20. At number 20, we've got Goliath from Wally B. Holland, another solid joint. Number 19, Phantom's Revenge from Kennywood. Number 18, Mako from SeaWorld Orlando. So those two rides are in the same group right next to each other. Um, and you can see Orion was not far off the pace in that group. Um, but with Leviathan and Fury also in that group, uh, no chance for Orion. And number 17 is the Smiler from Alton Towers. So a little bit of a drop here. And you'll notice no Nemesis on this page. So Nemesis, we know, is going to see a significant rise. Um, Twisted Colossus, speaking of significant changes, a little, a little bit more of a drop off here. Twisted Colossus coming in at number 16. Millennium Force from Cedar Point coming in at number 15. Number 14, Leviathan from Canada's Wonderland. Number 13, Wicked Cyclone from Six Flags New England jumping back up uh, a little bit. And then we've got a pair of King's Dominion coasters here. Uh, number 12, Twisted Timbers. And number 11, Intimidator 305. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I-305 at number 11. Uh, what yeah. was that last year? Um, I, I want to say it was number eight last year. Yes, number eight last year. So, so, so a little bit of a drop. Champion, and we're just seeing that slide down now of I-305, which, which is crazy. I, I don't disagree with it. 11 is about where I put it on my own list. So uh, I, I, don't, I don't disagree with that ranking. I'm just surprised to see it. Well, and, and Andy, last year, you know, Nemesis was number 21, and we know it's now in the top 10. Skyrush was number 16. We haven't seen Skyrush turn up yet. <laughs> yeah. So um, so let's get into the top 10 here, and there, there, there's, there's some surprises on this page, if there ever was. Number 10, Iron Rattler from Six Likes Yes to Test the, Texas. That's not a surprise. Nemesis jumping all the way up to number nine. Nemesis from Alton Towers. Well, I, I, I want to make a statement because I, I know I know this is going to be a criticism uh, at some point, And some people are going to be like, well, it just seems like more American coasters, more American voters uh, are voting this year because we see all these, you know, Dragster and Diamondback and all these American rides jumping back into the top 50 but we also see nemesis make a 10 jump spot here so i i, I think and the ultimate jump another you know nine you know exactly. nemesis and ultimate. I, think, I think what we're seeing here is european voters um you know not going with the new trend that 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 we, we see anything new in europe you know people travel to europe and and anything new there is automatically a top five ride. You know, it's, it's look at where I've been. And I think we're seeing yeah. more nuanced votes. I think we're seeing more, uh, uh, you know, well-versed votes. And, and I, I think we're beginning, and Nemesis sounds like a top 10 ride from what you say and from what others say. So it's, it's not surprising to me that we see a big jump like that. It, it seems to me that the European rides that are actually bona fide you know, top 10, top 20 rides are staying put, you know, your rides like Untamed, Nemesis, Terran, and, you know, then the rides that are kind of more of a look where I've been ride, you know, Blue Fire, maybe a Helix are, are kind of falling a little bit by the wayside, but your really good rides that are less commonly ridden are, are remain, are, you know, keep doing well. So Nemesis there at number nine. Uh, X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain coming in at number eight. It was number 12 last year, so uh, another increase there for X2. Uh, Maverick from Cedar Point was number seven last year, and it is number seven again this year. And another ride staying in the same position at number six is Terran from Fantasia Land. Now, at number five, Andy, the surprise of the tournament, Skyrush from Hershey Park, a top five roller coaster in this year's Thrilling 32 Ride Warrior Choice Awards. How about that? Danny, Danny, I can't disagree. I think I have it personally at number six. I have, um, of this group, I actually have Maverick next to over Skyrush, um, yep. but, but Skyrush is in that same discussion. So when I see Skyrush Maverick X2 all within four spots of one another, um, that does not surprise me. You know, I, I you know all of a sudden there's not really there's not really any junk here in this top ten. No, no, Skyrush is a great ride and, and all and once again it's all these people, the, all, all the boo hooers of how it hurts my legs too much, how I don't like Suck Skyrush, it up. That 
and, and it's the same it's it's the same people crying about other stuff too it's sky rush is a fantastic roller coaster fantastic roller coaster and absolutely deserves to be in the top 10. now you can debate if it's a top five ride debate that to your blue in the face but it deserves to be in the top 10 no question yeah, I mean, it, there's there's definitely a case to be made for Skyrush there for sure. Um, and like I said, I I rediscovered my appreciation for Skyrush and moved it up quite a bit in my rankings uh, this past year. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm it's good to see Skyrush uh, moving back up. Um, so number four is where we see Untamed come in, and and points wise, there wasn't a big drop off here. I mean, a little bit as to be expected, but to to see Untamed drop only from number two to number four and to be passed by G-Force and Fury, I think that does say a lot about Untamed. I mean, Untamed is here to stay uh, in the top top five uh, of the Thrilling 32 for the foreseeable future. That that ride is not going to be gone anywhere. Um, well, at number was, three... Oh, well, hold on. Then this goes back to the old debate of, you know, RMCs versus big, you know, huge coasters. So Untamed, yeah. smaller, closer to the ground... Uh, Fury 300 feet, Expedition Force 200 plus feet, whatever. Um, so it, it's this has been the long-standing debate uh, yeah. for, of BNM versus RMC versus Intamin, and here we just see it in the top four. Here we see that same debate coming back once again, e even in the top three: RMC, uh, Intamin, BNM. Look at that, and then you got RMC, Intamin, Intamin, Intamin. Yeah, no, it's no, it's it's there's definitely and then X2 just throws a wrench in everything. Well, but, that's uh, why it's not because it doesn't, <laughs> but but but, it's but, but otherwise, sense. yeah. <laughs> but other but otherwise, yeah, I mean, aside from X2, you could go down uh, you know, between Intamin, RMC and B&M, uh, if you don't account for X2 uh, until you get to Smiler. Um, you know, at 17, you've got all Intamin's, B&M's, and then even after that, you've got Smiler, Phantom's, or Ben's, but then you've got a whole bunch more uh, Intamin's and B&M's and some RMC's in there. So, I mean, definitely definitely a dominant uh, top group. Uh, Fury 325 from Carowinds coming in at number three this year, so actually staying in the same spot as it did last year, but the uh, the two and four rides uh, flip-flopping. Uh, Expedition G-Force coming in at a very, very close number two this year, and of course, Steel Vengeance from Cedar Point once again, the third straight year, your number one steel coaster in the Ride Warrior Choice well, Awards, I, your thrilling 32 chip. I, I am I am very, very um, surprised by how close it was between G-Force and, and Vengeance. That, that, that I think is very surprising. I'm not so much surprised as the flip-flopping between two, three, and four. Um, because I, I, think I think that's something, I think that's something we're going to see year after year. Yes. I think as people go to Europe and ride G force and untamed, I think as more people from Europe come to ride fury, uh, which we know is something that folks like Alex Baker would like to do. And I think that's something we're going to continue to see because I, I don't know how many Europeans mm -hmm. have ridden untamed it being a new coaster. So I think we're going to get a more accurate picture of, of what people think of untamed over time as well. Uh, just with yeah. European voters, um, I, I don't even think they need to come to America to get to get you know a better sense. Just them riding Untamed, I think, uh, will give us a more accurate picture, and I think that's what's going to lead to more and more jockeying of you know, and and, and that's going to be Danny. How, how, did we not sit there at the opening of a Steel Vengeance and say both of us said, well, I don't know which one's better, Vengeance or Maverick? You got they're they're you know forty feet from each other. Uh, which one's a better ride? And I think. By the end of the day, we both settle on Vengeance being clearly the better ride. But after those first few rides, you're like, ah, I don't know which one's better. I think Untamed and G-Force, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a back and forth. You're going to ride Untamed one day and be like, hey, that's a great ride. Go back to ride G-Force. Hey, that's an amazing ride. You don't have the ability you know, to do it back to back like you do at Cedar Point and, and, and ride yeah. them consecutively. Um, but it's just going to be one of those things where I think people are going to waffle back and forth. Uh, with saying well, which one's better and and we only wrote them a couple of days apart and you know we 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 had cut the lines at wallaby we had uh, uh we had ert on g-force and the park was empty because it was slightly misty um i'll, I'll never I, one of my i mean we talk about our favorite rides that first ride on vengeance you know the night rides at hollywood nights at voyage um, one ride on that europe trip that i will not forget and it was probably one of the best rides was the the it started to pour 
uh, it started to rain pretty heavily as we were going up the lift hill of Expedition G-Force and riding in that back left seat on that first drop uh, in the pouring rain, that, that was a special experience for sure. Um, and honestly, between untamed and G force, I have untamed slightly higher, but at the end of the day, if you tell me you like G force a little bit better than untamed, I can argue with you. They're, they're both exceptional rides. It's very much like Maverick and steel vengeance. I've got one that I prefer. If you tell me you like Maverick better than steel vengeance, I, that's not one that I'm going to argue with you. Um, they're, they're so close that I, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, any final thoughts, Andy, before we wrap up again, congratulations to holiday world and the voyage on another wood championship, steel vengeance and Cedar point. Congratulations on uh, the steel championship. And of course, congratulations to Alex Baker, the actual winner of this year is not, uh, not uh, Mr. Raymond man over here, <laughs> man T Ray. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny because I know you work for Raymond and something something in my head was like, why is it why is it Raymond? It's just everything <laughs> like this weird. And it's just that's it, right. Well, I had no idea. So I, I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and be like you and be like, oh yeah, I knew that was happening. Get the hell out of here. That get the hell out of here. Oh, I knew it the whole time. Yeah, I, yeah, right, whatever. Um, so I uh, you know, I, I I think in a weird year. Uh, where we didn't know, like there was even discussions of, of us not doing this. And I think, I think in the end, I think what we got here is amazing. I think the top fifties are spot on. We've seen uh, some, like I said, some jockeying back and forth. Um, but, but I'm glad that we did it. I think it's, I think all of you guys, thank you for participating in the, in the poll. And the rumble part was really, really oh fun. God. I mean, I had, people had so much fun with that. We got so, so many people with po positive feedback and just telling us how much they liked the new format. And we're glad because it's, it's here to stay quite frankly. I mean, oh, we're Danny, keep Danny I, I don't know if you realize this, but next year is the 10 year anniversary that's also right. 32. So we've been doing this for 10 years now. Uh, this is year number nine. Next year is year number 10. Uh, so we're going to do it up bigger and better than ever. And Andy, Andy, one more thing that by doing the thrilling 32 and the ride war choice boards this year, one more thing that we can now lay claim to, we are now the longest continuously running theme park awards and roller coaster ranking awards program in the theme park industry. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Um, Everyone else didn't do rankings, didn't do awards. Not here at CoasterNet. Ride Warrior Choice Awards. We ride on Ride Warriors. We rank on, and we're now the continue, the longest continuous running awards and ranking program in the theme park industry. <laughs> some of them feel? dropped off this year. Some of them <laughs> dropped off this year. So there you go. <laughs> um, so, but 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 at the end of the day, we've always said this is the Ride Warrior Choice Awards. This is about you. We don't have specialized voters. We don't do. Um, you know, stupid ranking systems or anything like that, that, that this is your vote put into a group. Uh, we, 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 we normalize it a little bit based on how many coasters you've been on um, so that, so that it equalizes. But at the end of the day, this is your opinion. This is what you said. This isn't what I said. This isn't what Danny Miller said. This isn't what Rob Dole said. This isn't what Jason No said. This isn't what you know, uh, Robbie Raptor said, uh, this, <laughs> this is about what you said and right. this is your rankings. Um, and this is what, what came out of it. So there you go. Uh, so awesome job by all, uh, we, we're not done yet. We still have, uh, the general award show to do. We still have our yeah. hall of fame inductee for this year. I, I got my little, I, I, re, I moved my hall of fame. So I got the hall of fame back there right now. So we have, uh, you know, dragon challenge, uh, some called sometimes called dueling dragons, and we also have a Magnum XL 200 in our Hall of Fame already. Uh, so we and, and Andy, we've been getting some questions. We got to do a tournament of terrible as well. Holy hell! I, I don't <laughs> even know if I can. I, I don't even know if I can at this point. Jeez, Louise. Um, well, well, we put the nominations on the ballot, so we got lots of nominations for sure. Well, uh, my personal thing. favorite was sixty-five hundred miles in a car with Mike Flynn. That was my favorite nomination <laughs> the tournament because that would be pretty terrible. I, I, I can't, I can't disagree with that. Uh, so, uh, as always, folks, uh, are we are we wrapping this up? Are we done? Yeah, let's wrap it up. Let's say thank you again to all the voters and the participants. Uh, this is our favorite thing to do every single year. And I, I would I would dare say that we made it better than ever this year. Yeah. And next year, like I said, 
10 year anniversary. So let's do it up even bigger. Uh, so That's as right. always, I am Andy Rabarczyk from Chicago, Illinois. And I am Raymond Mann from Binghamton, New York. <laughs> I, I don't even believe this is where we're at. Uh, so as always, ride on, ride warriors. Go Arthur Poor. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Thank you. <laughs>